choice yeah, as you mentioned, like my short film in Mundial Solvent um, last year was here at the Tonde Award. So I was like looking forward to come to see the festival and how things are happening here. And uh, in fact it's my own it's my first time in uh, Palermo and Chichen, so uh, I was so happy also to be here to visit like to see the city, to visit the city and the festival. It's nice that uh, that we're uh, like we're working for two uh, for the two competition, the feature and the short. And uh, like first of all, the uh, the other jury member are great, so we're having very nice discussions already around the shorts and enjoying a lot being part of this jury. Uh, at the same time. Uh, uh, what's very nice is that the, the program is very varied. So uh, in shorts we just have we just saw the the second uh, uh, group of short film, and you have like this varied program between animation and documentary and essays and fiction, uh, which uh, which which give you a nice perspective on different approach from coming from different backgrounds, from different cultures, from different nationalities. And um, um, yeah, the experience is great. I'm mainly interested in social uh, relations. I think that um, Whenever you, you create, like, I'm interested in creating context where we explore the social behavior and relations between people, and and what interests me is like, once I create this context, I am interested in adding constraints, so uh, we get to know more uh, how people react in front of constraints, certain social, religious, political constraints. Uh, and this helps uh, to explore uh, deeply social behaviors and political layers of this social behavior. I think that we are able to explore those big morals when, when, when we dig deep in, in very small details. So, um, yeah, the psychological social behavior is, is very important for me. I work between art and film, and I have a background in theatre, so uh, after working in theatre for a few years I decided to start working with images and mainly started with video and video installation that I still do till now. And Mundial 2010 was uh, a short film that I did in 2014. Um, um, what I can say is that there's something that I don't, it's not very uh, clear, let's say, in the, in the film, is that as Lebanese, we're not, uh, we're not, we cannot go to Palestine, we cannot visit Palestine. This is because of the state of war that exists between Lebanon and Israel today. And as all the Palestinian borders are controlled by Israel, so we cannot cross the borders to go to Palestine either, so we cannot go to Ramallah. Uh, so the so Mundial Southern Antel was based on an impossible journey of a Lebanese couple who decided to take the car and go from Beirut to Ramallah, which is impossible to happen in real life. And technically what happened is that I was in contact with the Palestinians living in Ramallah, uh, who are not artists, they are amateurs, mainly teachers in fact, that I was meeting in Jordan for several years and in summer. So I was asking them to uh, to film in Ramallah as if I'm visiting them. So the, so the, con the simple condition was that if I'm visiting you in Ramallah, where you, where you would take me? Uh, just take a camera and film. So if you want to take me to a cafe, to a walk, just take a camera and film what's happening. And then so I was like meeting them again in, uh, in Jarash in Jordan for two, three years. 
every summer, taking the footage and coming back to, uh, to Beirut, where I edited the film while writing, uh, while writing it. So it was a process of editing and writing at the same time. Especially that I didn't know what I was aiming to do with the footage at the beginning. It was just like a request. Um, so yeah, the writing was happening as like writing the subtitles of the film. It was in this way. And when the editing was done with the subtitles, I, uh, as, as the dialogue being the subtitle, I've worked with two Lebanese uh, actors in Lebanon and sound engineer. And we tried to uh, record the audio uh, in somehow similar spaces to what we are seeing in the footage to be able to have a uh, credible uh, recording. And then we mixed it and to make it somehow to, to have the feeling as if this couple really went to uh, Ramallah. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's all uh, a false documentary somehow. It's playing between false documentary, fiction, and an impossible journey to have. So this is technically how, how, how it was done. But like at the same time, the idea, the main idea behind this work for me was, I've been, I've been all the time thinking of this uh, production of image of the palace of Palestine and the Palestinian police. And at some point for me, it was a bit annoying that the, this production of image was mainly based on uh, on what the Israeli are doing and not anymore talking about Palestine and the Palestinians. So I wanted to produce this image where we are. Uh, where the main topic is Palestine and the Palestinians and their daily life without raising or like neglecting the existence of Israel and what's doing on a daily basis but I wanted to have it only in the, in the, in the last layer of the image so that's why in Mundial Southern Antan you see the Israeli soldiers behind the wall and attacking the Palestinians but in fact they're, they're all the time in the last layer or the settlements even, they're in the last layer but we're in Ramallah, we're with the Palestinians living in Ramallah and their daily life like they're going to a cafe or like having a drink somewhere and at the same time, the first time I was watching those footages, I was a bit um, shocked and like, uh, like how to say that, like when the first time I saw uh, this man uh, describing how all the settlements were like far and they're getting closer and closer and closer, I felt this feeling of claustrophobia where you feel that there is a city that is disappearing. And we know historically that a lot of other cities already disappeared in Palestine. So, uh, so it was something like very emotional for me. Um, and being someone who always wanted to go to Ramallah, uh, so I had like this struggle that I tried to translate it between those two. Yusuf and Ibrahim, someone who's like just living the moment and the other who's for the first time visiting Ramallah and the only thing that he was feeling was this claustrophobia of witnessing a city that is disappearing. So uh, at some point he says that maybe he wished that he, that he never visited Ramallah, and it's just only an idea in his mind. And for sure in this like I'm uh, in the process of the work I was a bit in a dialogue also with uh, the film of Alain René Hiroshima Mon Amour where uh, we witnessing this the, the Hiroshima aftermath aftermath of the war and like in a very like clandestine I uh, it's more clandestine in the film at some point he asked uh, like Yusuf asked for him what are you willing to do and he said I'm going to visit the the museum of Ramallah and he answered there's no museum in Ramallah this is sentence taken from Hiroshima but instead uh, Ramallah is Hiroshima so uh, so yeah this is in general what I consider a for me it's it's a political film before uh, like at the first reading of it and uh, it's politically queer in this sense uh, of two impossible journey of a gay couple being able to live this uh, open relationship and uh, a public openly in, in the Arab uh, 
country and this political impossible encounter between Beirut and Ramallah. For cinema we have uh, censorship. So at each film that want to need to be screened in a, uh, in a theater uh, need a, uh, a permit of screen. So you present the film to the general security who is responsible for the censorship and they give you a permit or not. Uh, in my case for this film, what happened that this film was in fact premiered at the Berlinale before being premiered at Beirut and it directly won an award there uh, and then it was in several other festivals before uh, being able to premiere in Beirut and I was able to screen this film for like two three times till now uh, as a short film in fact it's very hard to, to make any commercial release so it needs to be in a frame of a festival so and there's always a way to like go around so um, one of the festivals already don't sell tickets, so when you don't sell tickets, you can show films without a permit. This is like something that's sad and not sad in the low. And the other festival uh, premiere uh, programmed it in the, in, the, in the opening of the festival. So for the opening night, it's by invitation, so you don't need a permit. You need a permit for the other film in the program. So uh, till now, I've never presented this film to the general security so uh, I yet don't have any problem with it uh, yeah but like you, you you never know how things happen uh, you can never predict if this film will have a permit or not uh, like this is, this is the case with my work well the Berlinale was a surprise frankly because like it was it was already the, the premiere of the film, so I didn't have any idea about how people would react to it. And it was part of, part of the Forum Expanded, which is already a new section in, uh, in the Berlinale. So, uh, and in, in the Berlinale, all the films and all sections that have any queer theme will directly go to the, to the competition of the Tadia Award. And I was not at all thinking of that. It might one win them. So, uh, uh, and it's the funny part of it is that I had some fans there in Berlin. I was staying at their apartment, and before going to the, to the ceremony of the Tadia Award, my friend was like, "Let's play it red carpet thing. Like, so let's let's put a bow tie and the, and, and put some costume on." I was like, "Yeah, why not? Let's do it." And because, because I was convinced that there is nothing that's gonna happen, it was just for the for our fun. And we went in the in the uh, in the uh, ceremony, and we started like taking pictures of ourselves. And then suddenly I was like on stage receiving the award with my costume and bow tie. It was like it, it looked like as if I was like ready to to have this award. In fact, it was just my mistake. <laughs>